Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Samfax YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 custom ROM release. This is Android 13 based custom ROM. You can see Project Awaken version 3.5 Triton maintainer KUI. You can see the February 5th, 2023 is the latest security patch available. Kernel UJ is 4.14.290 Thunderbolt kernel has been used. Linux status is enforcing. Build date is March 12th. This is the ROM available and I have been running the CPU thread link test from last 7 minutes and 4 seconds and 4 milliseconds. You can see the maximum scores are around 184 and average is 157 and minimum is 160 million GPS and it throttled to 75% of its max performance. Initially, it was a little bit performance thirsting, I mean throttling. Later, it is very good. Again, it got throttling according to this app, but the overall usage it's very good in this particular ROM. No lags or anything like that in this ROM. And this is a typical home screen you get. You can see this is the app drawer you get. Here, I have like this is a local camera application will be given with this ROM, not a local one, the installed one pre built. But I am using this AGC currently. If you want, you can use even Arno Build Gcam. You already have that, I hope so. And you get this Leica integrated camera, which is very good here. Without a MIUI ANX camera, you get lot more uh, options here. And you also get this 1.2, 1.9x and 1x and even front facing camera. I already explained about this for the link of this camera application. I have given in the Telegram channel. Follow my Telegram channel. It's a similar name, Sampath FX. Go and follow that. I will be giving in the description also the link to the Telegram channel. And here, one more thing, good thing about this particular camera application, you get a loaded configs such that if you use different configs, you get different tweaking here and there in the camera, which is good in my opinion. And now speaking about the dialer, let me increase a little bit of volume here. There's a volume panel you get in this Android 13 based project Awaken. If I dial down the number, you can see direct video call feature is available and there is a call recording feature, but it will announce the other person that is you are recording the call. One thing I really liked in this ROM is this quick settings panel, the perfect uh, battery, sorry, the brightness slider, you get proper automatic brightness toggle disable enable option that is not the case in majority of the ROMs with Android 13. It is embedded within the uh, line which will make a uh, little bit different difficult to change that but here it is having the toggle itself in the brightness letter which is very good in my open the smoothness in the qs panel is also very very good i haven't faced any problems and in the edit sections you get lot more options you can see on the screen and moving into some of the other app results you can uh, uninstall some of the apps like disable the android data app most of them you can do that and the Android benchmark results you can also judge the app opening time in this room you can see the scores are 3,46,139 and temperature raise was around like 0 0.3 degrees Celsius and battery 2% has been dropped during this testing of this uh, Android benchmark in Poco X after installing this project Awaken with Android version 13 and February security patch DRM information again you get a uh, level 1 you can see you can watch all the ODT application in high definition resolution that's fine and Play Store certification let's check the safety net status I haven't installed or what okay let's install that safety net status okay and by the way, if you're first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below this and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. And if you like the video, give it a like and let's check the safety net status. You can see here it's get passed. You can use all the payment applications like Google Pay, Phone Pay, all are going to work fine, no problem regarding that. And other app settings like Geekbench, you can see here the single score is 550 and multi score is 1457, which is a little bit lower. And kernel, as I said before, Thunderbolt kernel 2. Point, sorry, 4.1, 4.290 kernel has been used here, which is quite good here. I'm getting very good performance. I'll be showing the BGMA gameplay also. Stay tuned till the end of the video, guys. And internet connection, I have 90, 95 MPS, I mean 100 MPS connection, I have, but it will pull up to. 
9095 which is quite good and mobile data connection carrier aggregation support is there bluetooth toggle all these things are working fine no problem regarding that earpiece quality is also fine in this room you can definitely use it as a and dial zero the basic things are quite interesting and quite good here i think app settings have covered everything and 33 watt charging support is there in this room uh, it's working fine the fast charging support is working in this room now fm radio is also pre-included here now moving into actual settings here you get basic settings no customization whatsoever let's start with the ending i mean uh, from design ending order now the gestures you can see swipe to screenshot all these options has been given the good thing is in gesture navigation you get option to increase the pill length which is quite good interesting option and there are some sensitivity dead zone and feedback you can enable or disable some of the settings from here which is very good in my opinion now security options like face and fingerprint unlock and even app lock and smart lock are pre-installed here let me show you the fingerprint unlock first and now the face unlock as you can see it's quite good to unlock your smartphone using face and fingerprint unlocks again as you can see it's quite good here very fast and responsive no problem regarding that now into other settings like accessibility again it's a handy feature always keeps telling about this without actually using the physical buttons you can access the volume buttons and other settings you can see on the screen and other options also display size and text you can customize them and battery again here you get very good battery life you can expect from here status bar battery indicator you can adjust from here and battery usage let me show you as you can see it's a very good battery efficient rom the one more video is coming uh, today evening or tomorrow morning that will have excellent battery life stay tuned to my channel guys for such kind of videos and battery life is quite good here i have no complaints regarding that and display you get uh, dark theme and again pure black theme is given the toggle if you enable that it will be in pitch black condition as i said before the basic things are really good in this particular rom with no customizations available that's the one thing you need to keep in mind and display again icon pack you can choose some of them are pre-installed here colors you can adjust and rgb strength also you can adjust from here peak and minimum refresh rate kept to 120 tap to wake is given and display customization again you get lot more customization here only in this area you get customization full screen apps again if app is not playing and hidden apps you can hide the apps from here refresher per app also you can set it out and sound and vibration typical sound and vibration you get a sound enhancer and even hi-fi audio jack i mean hi-fi audio system if you want to enable or disable that you can do that select scenes preset and headphone type is also given and other uh, vibration patterns you can choose vibration and haptics are also included in this rom and other settings i already shown this is how the project awaken rom for poco x slash nfc it's applicable for both the variants i already shared the firmware link in the uh, telegram channel also in my community section do check out i will be using the same firmware the 14.0.1 uh, global one not the other one other one haven't released it but still i recommend to use the same firmware 14.0.1 then flash the rom jfl under format data and reboot to uh, system this how the flashing method if any changes goes on you should check out my community section and telegram and also you should have frequent uh, visual on my videos then only you can understand what kind of firmware i am installing i am flashing and what kind of rom zip file how everything will be said in the video if you people watch only a part of the video and uh, go back and comment i definitely not going to replay you back if you have still more questions you can comment down and i will be making live streaming also every week and then you can join there and you can ask your questions i will be answering them frequently that's how the uh, videos will be going and the flashing method is it's quite important to flash the right firmware then it's up to you and let's show you the bgm and how it handles and what are the graphic settings we get in this particular rom let's see you guys can see the graphics is set to uh, smooth plus ultra only you won't get any high fps count or you even the options in miscellaneous settings like what we see in evolution x and some other roms that's not happening here uh, but let's see how it handles with 40 fps at least it's a playable or not Okay, 
it is fine actually i am not getting any lag or anything like that with the 40 fps it is fine but if you know how to enable high fps the thunderbolt kernel is also very good gaming kernel also you can expect a good battle life i can say it's a balanced kernel the thunderbolt kernel currently with standard 13 and it's all up to you guys whatever you want to make with gaming i don't know which type of games also you play it all depends upon your personal preference but the rom is very stable here no problem i don't know when these people will push the updates and all but currently it is fine actually no problems and other things do join my live stream guys always i'll be explaining a lot more there uh, people like 2300 the subscribers and watching my videos are around 10k but subscribing only 2000 like that subscribe to my channel and also join the live streams it will be more and more beneficial for you guys and also i can improve a lot uh, hope you guys follow that and join the live streams and i'll come back here this is how the performance and everything about this uh, project awaken 3.5 triton which is good in my opinion the user interface wise is also very very smooth you can see here the ram management is also fine let's check one of the apps here hope so this one it will be booted out of the memory okay because it was long time i opened that that's how it is and if you want to use it as a daily driver the only thing is uh, when the updates will be coming that's unknown but overall it's a very good rom it will be like around yearly two to three updates for poco x at least but they will give major android version updates that's really cool in my opinion they would have given the pre-installed a leica camera pre-built here but anyhow it's a very good rom if you want to use it as a daily driver definitely go and have that and if you're still not subscribed to my video channel let that subscribe button i will meet you with another interesting videos guys until that keep smelling bye bye for now